Hey, how you doing? It's James here with another video conversion tip for you. It's the end of a very long day here in my household. Uh, I took the kids to see Alvin and the Chipmunks 2. Boy, was that a movie. Anyway, they enjoyed it. It's been a very long day and uh, the reason I'm recording this in my kitchen is because my, my youngest son, has, uh, his room's above the office and he's, he's finding it a little hard to get off to sleep tonight. So I thought I'd bring this into the kitchen. Um, and also I'm recording this on a different kind of camera. I'm recording this on the little camera just above the screen on my laptop. So, um, and the reason for that is because I wanna talk about your equipment. And no, I'm not getting funny. I'm talking about your camera recording equipment. And um, again, I'm hands-free today. I'm not holding the camera and it's just you and I here. And uh, what I want to do is talk about, see here's the thing, over the years I've gotten so many emails from people saying, you know, what kind of camera do you use and, you know, how do you do all these videos. So I want to talk you through the cameras that I use and have used over the years and show you them. Okay, so I'm just going to get them. Hang on two seconds. Okay. So, what we've got here. Well, firstly, we'll go through them in order, all right? And I'll get out of the camera shot and I'll just talk you through them, okay? So, number one, <coughs> excuse me, this is the Sanyo Zacti. And this is what I used to do all my videos on. It's what I used to do them all on. And the cool thing about this is it's tapeless. And I think any cameras that you're going to use has to be tapeless. Pretty much all cameras these days, all camcorders, can be tapeless. Uh, and there's really no need for you to be worrying about, you know, how you get the footage from your tapes onto your computer. Because uh, most cameras, like I said, these days can record either on little external discs or on hard drives that they've got built into the camera. This is a Sanyo Zacti. You can probably pick these up on eBay these days for about £100. And um, it records all the footage onto one of these. A little SD card, they're just tiny, they're like the size, whoopsie, they're so small you can drop them. Uh, they're like the size of a stamp and literally on the camera, at the back of the camera here, there's a, a little door here that you open if you've got nails and it just slots into a little slot there, can you see? Let me just see if I can angle that so you can see it. There's a little slot just on the camera there and you just put the SD card in there and you are in business. Now the reason I like this camera is it's got the pop-out screen, which means if I'm recording myself, I can make sure that I'm in frame. Let me just take the, the lens cover off. Now here's a little tip that most people don't think about, which is when you're recording yourself on your camera, if, you've, if yours has got a pop-out screen like this, here's the tip. Don't look at the screen. Look at the lens. I know that sounds really obvious, but honestly, I'm amazed by the number of videos I see where you see the person and they're doing this. They're like talking to you and they're looking off slightly to the left or the right and they're going, yes, well, this is very interesting. And they're not really making eye contact with you, which is really weird. So just remember, because it's an easy habit to get into, that if you've got one of these cameras with a flip out screen, don't look at the screen once you start recording. Use it as a guide only to make sure that you, you know, you're in frame properly and that you're not, you know, your top of your head's not being cut off. Um, but don't look at the screen once you're recording. So I love that. That's my Sanyo Zacti, Sanyo Zacti. Um, and uh, I used that for a, a long, long time before I moved on to this, which is a Sony. Uh, Sony, let's see, DCR. You see that? It's a DCR SR36. Now, the cool thing about the Sony is it's got a hard drive built in. It's got 40 gigabytes of storage built in. So, whereas with the Sanyo, you have to, you know, you've got limited amount of space on a 4 gigabyte SD card. With this, you could literally keep on recording for hours and hours before you would get anywhere near filling up that 40 gigabytes of onboard storage. It's also got a, a better lens. Um, and the other plus point about the, San, uh, the Sony, this Sony, uh, it's got the same kind of screen that rotates and it's got a touch screen there. But the cool thing about this is it's in 16 by 9, so it's widescreen. 
And the cool thing about being widescreen is that it does something, it's not a huge detail, but it's one of those things that your viewers will notice, um, so to speak, in as much as, you know, we're used to films and movies being in widescreen. And when we see footage in widescreen, it kind of takes on that slightly more professional air, even if it's not. <laughs> uh, case in point, this footage that you're watching now is actually four by three. And this is something we call aspect ratio, right? So the aspect ratio of this picture is four by three. That is four width, four units width, and three in height. And if you see the video below this, the one that I released um, yesterday as I'm recording this with me at the hotel, that's widescreen. And you can see it's wider. It's actually 16 units wide and nine high, okay? And so I'd always recommend if you can shoot in widescreen, shoot in widescreen. Um, I'm limited by the, the software I'm using to record this on my computer, only records in 4x3. Okay, so we've had the Sanyo Zacti, the Sony, and now the camera that I use these days for pretty much all the videos that I do is this. This is the Flip Mino HD, and it's the, or it was up until recently, <laughs> the world's smallest uh, high definition camcorder. And it's really cool because it's really easy. And believe me, I need something that's easy to use. That's the on-off switch, and when you turn it on, you see there's a little uh, LCD screen there, and you can see, let's just see, you probably can't see. Um, there's a 1.5 inch LCD screen there, and it's so dead simple to use. One button and you're recording. Press it again, and you've stopped recording. Um, and the cool thing about this is it records in high definition. Now really what that means is it's got a really good um, resolution. The picture is of better quality. It's, it's really that simple. We could go over it all day. But there are two types of HD. There's 1080 and then there's 720. 1080 is like the, the, the highest currently available high definition picture quality. And this is 720. The, the Flip Mino HD is 720. Um, I like that because if, if I was working with 1080, some, suddenly the file sizes start getting really big um, and editing becomes a big problem and your computer, your PC or your Mac might have problems. I like this because it's just right. It gives you really good picture quality without being a kind of a guzzler of data and space on your computer. And here's the really cool thing. With the old, with the, I say old, it's not really that old, but with the Sanyo, when I wanted to edit the pictures, I had to take out the SD card, put it into my computer, find the file, drag it into the program I wanted to edit it in, and then, you know, from there, upload it to YouTube or Vimeo or whatever. With the flip, all I need to do is a little slide button just there on the side. You flip that, and up pops a USB which just simply slots into the USB socket on your PC or your Mac, and you're in business. There's built-in software on the camera. There's built-in software so that when you plug it in, it automatically opens it. And from there, you can export the footage to your computer, or you can edit it, upload it to YouTube, whatever you want to do. This is what I use, mainly not because it's the best, but because it gives a really good picture quality, and it's fast. And you know what, when you're creating videos that are designed to convert, you want to be able to test an idea quickly and get it up and see whether it's working for you as soon as possible. With the flip, I believe you get some really good results. It's why I use this. So, um, <laughs> it sounded like one of those infomercials, didn't it? I use the flip. But look, I hope that's been useful for you, useful information. Those are the three cameras I use. The bottom line is this. Don't be overwhelmed. You know, so many people work themselves up about doing video because they frighten themselves about the cameras and they don't buy one or they use a friend's or something like that. It's so easy these days to be able to get a camera that you don't even need to, no longer do you need to buy tapes for it. You don't have to worry about how you get that footage onto your computer. It's really, really easy. So those that's what I've used in the past and what I use now. Hope that's been informative for you. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Oh, and by the way, something exciting for you. I've got some news when it comes time, because it will be time soon for me to release news about my uh, the video conversion coaching training program. Um, I got some news about the flip. Okay, so uh, if you like the look of the flip, then you will be definitely interested to see 
what I've got in store for you on the main program. I'll speak to you really soon. Take it easy.